While many former presidents have made the news for one controversy or the other, former U.S. President Donald Trump's recent controversy has topped them all, as the news of his indictment by the Manhattan Grand Jury up to his arraignment and his arrest goes viral. You can see all over the news and social media how former U.S. President Donald Trump becomes the first president to ever face criminal charges. Everyone is eager to see how he would look in his mugshot. I mean, just like everyone, he gets one, right? Keep watching till the end of this video to see rappers' reactions to Donald Trump's mugshot. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Donald Trump arrested after arriving in New York. The news about former President Donald Trump getting arrested ahead of his arraignment at the Manhattan Criminal Courthouse didn't come as a shock to the public, as this was expected immediately after news about his indictment by the Manhattan Grand Jury made its way to him. Donald Trump was arrested and entered a not guilty plea to 34 felony charges after it was claimed he falsified business records to conceal $130,000 in hush money from the 2016 presidential race. On Monday afternoon, April 4th, 2023, Trump took his plane from Palm Beach to New York. He spent the night in Trump Tower before traveling four miles south on Tuesday afternoon, April 5th, 2023, to the Manhattan Courthouse. The former president left his home shortly after 13 o'clock local time. This journey took only a few minutes' drive, and he was soon seen arriving at the Manhattan Courthouse. During the drive, Trump was still in disbelief at the whole situation. He took to his social media website, Truth Social, and said, Seems so surreal. Wow, they're going to arrest me. Can't believe this is happening in America. MAGA. Once the former president was inside the courtroom, he surrendered himself for a historic court hearing in New York. This hearing was held amidst high security and a media frenzy around the world, and we can indeed refer to this as unprecedented, as the Republican billionaire is the first American president to ever be charged with a crime. When he was arrested, Trump was not required to pose for a mugshot, but when he took the stage at Mar-a-Lago, he mugged the TV cameras. Earlier in the day, his team sent out a mass email to supporters offering donations of a shirt bearing a fake photo of Trump's arrest warrant and the phrase, not guilty. The former president's first court appearance featured a typical sober process and arraignment procedures for all criminal defendants in the U.S. The former president was there seated in front of the court and surrounded by his defense attorneys, after which the former U.S. president entered a plea of not guilty. And after almost an hour, the former president made his way out of the courthouse and returned to his resort at the Mar-a-Lago in Florida. Donald Trump's speech after arriving from court. Who is Donald Trump if he hasn't carried the microphone to give hours-long speeches to express just how unfair the whole process was and how the nation is in decline? Who is he if he hasn't shouted, We will make America great again! Only difference is that this time it didn't even take 30 minutes. While he was giving his speech, it was quite obvious that this whole situation was taking a toll on him. The former U.S. president spoke to his supporters from his home in Palm Beach, Florida. He said, they can't beat us at the ballot box, so they try to beat us through the law. He continued, we're a nation in decline, and now these radical left lunatics want to interfere in the elections by using law enforcement. Remained defiant. He didn't mind the consequences as he went ahead to criticize failed New York County District Attorney Alvin Bragg and criticized the state of the country as a nation in decline. Trump didn't stop there as he moved on to his next target, Mr. Bragg's wife, for tweeting that the former president had been nailed. He talked about how she has since deleted the post. She has since locked down her Twitter account, Trump said, as he called the entire investigation politically motivated. The former president also went head on with the presiding judge, Juan Merchant, who also mentioned the fact that his daughter worked for Vice President Kamala Harris. I have a Trump-hating judge with a Trump-hating wife and family whose daughter worked for Kamala Harris. Trump said neglecting the fact that the judge already warned him to refrain from making it public or causing violence. He ended his speech by once again reminding us that the U.S. is in danger, as he added, with all of this being said and with a very dark cloud over our beloved country. I have no doubt, nevertheless, that we will make America great again. I have
have no doubt, nevertheless, that we will make America great. Rappers and celebrities react to Donald Trump's mugshot. Prior to the arrest of former President Donald Trump, the only thing people were concerned about was if Trump was going to get his picture taken. I mean a mugshot, and how he'd look. This has caused so much debate to the extent that a lot of AI-influenced pictures of the former president started to fly around. In an interview on The Benny Show, the host asked Donald Trump's attorney, Alina Haba, if Trump would get his mugshot taken, to which she replied and said, the police don't need a mugshot of the former US president because he's the most famous man in the world. Several rappers have, however, questioned why former President Donald Trump hasn't been allowed to follow protocol during his hush money case. Following the former president's arrest on Tuesday, April 4th, 2023, American rapper Plies, whose real name is Algernod Lanier Washington, posted a photo of Trump in Manhattan criminal court with a sad expression on Twitter with the caption, I know the feeling, my boy, and added a laughing emoji. He added a tweet where he questioned why the former president was yet to pose for a mugshot as this was one of the procedures for accused persons. He said, is there anybody you know ever been charged with 34 felonies? And the system said, when you turn yourself in, we good on the mugshot. You ain't gotta take it. Boosie Badass is another rapper who found himself in legal controversies over the years. The Baton Rouge rapper also came out to ask why Trump hasn't posed for a mugshot, if it was true that he turned himself in to the authorities. He said, I wonder what at real Donald Trump attorneys filed so he didn't have to get his mugshot taken. Hashtag smart move, but this has to go for all celebrities, right? Mugshot can damage someone's brand. Everyone had one or two to say. It just made sense for rapper Meek Mill to add his two cents, as he took to his Instagram page to inform the world that one of Trump's lawyers, Joe Tacopina, had previously represented him in a criminal case. The Philadelphia rapper posted a screenshot of a headline from Trump's arrest and captioned it, Trump graduated from the streets, sharing criminal lawyers with us. Joe tactically. While some rappers have been bashing Donald Trump, others have had his back, and it's no surprise that Kodak Black is one of them. Now every rap fan remembers when Trump pardoned Kodak from his four years prison sentence on his last day as president. Kodak has been loyal to him since then. Speaking on Donald Trump's arrest, Kodak Black said, I feel like these people are on some other f They're trying to get Trump out the way, cause Trump a stand up. Joe Biden will let a f do anything. Trump is a real f he's a soldier. It ain't how he snapped for a It ain't even about that. That's the end of today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more content. Thanks.